Facilitating a small group is more art than it is a science. My name is Christopher Scott and I serve as a small groups pastor of a local church. And maybe you're somebody that facilitates a small group, maybe you lead a support group, maybe you teach a Sunday school class or do something like that where you get people involved in discussion and facilitating a discussion with them. And in this video, I wanna encourage you to visit other small groups or learn from other small group facilitators, right? Because facilitating a small group is more of an art than it is a science. Yes, there's certain principles that we want all small groups to have, right? Certain elements and principles and, and things we want each small group to do, but we also, there is an element where each small group facilitator has to learn his or her own unique style, how he is comfortable facilitating a small group, how she wants to group the flow, or how he wants to do prayer requests, how she wants to do a snack list, things like that. So it's more art than it is science. And one way to learn what works for you is to visit other small groups and learn from those other small group facilitators. And scripture has a lot to say about learning from others. Proverbs 18.15 says, Intelligent people are always ready to learn. Their ears are open for knowledge. Proverbs 18.15. Then 1 Corinthians 11.1 1 says, And you should imitate me. This is Paul talking. And you should imitate me just as I imitate Christ. So the Corinthians should be learning from Paul. Then Philippians 3.17 says, Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. Again, he's encouraging them to, to learn from Paul. Then Philippians 4.9, keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and you saw me doing. So things you heard him do and saw him do. Then the God of peace will be with you. And 2 Timothy 2.2, my favorite, says, you have heard me teach these things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others, right? So that's what scripture has to say about learning from others. It's something that we should do and grow and learn from others. So as you as a facilitator, I want to encourage you, you want to maybe visit another small group to see how they facilitate their group and how the group runs and get some ideas. Another One of the things I've done for our church in the past is I've made a little piece of paper that lists all the small group facilitators and given their contact information so they can talk to each other. So maybe that's something your church does or if you're at a church, just ask the small group's pastor or someone on staff if there's some other people you can talk to and learn and grow from and visit their groups. And you might want to learn and grow from another facilitator, not necessarily by visiting their group, but you can take that person out to coffee or lunch. You know, bring a pad of paper and a pen, jot down some questions and ask them some things and learn from them. Ask them what, you know, what has really worked for you well in your group? What are some obstacles you've had to overcome? What are some problems you've had to solve? Um, what are some things you would give advice you would give me to do? Things like that and jot some answers down and learn and grow from that person. So as you grow and learn as a small group facilitator, one of the best ways to do that is from other people that are doing the exact same thing, right? And at our church, uh, as a small groups pastor, I work really, really hard to get all of our small groups facilitators together twice a year for a yearly training, once in September and once in February. And then I try to bring them all together for a fun barbecue at my house in May, where we just all get together and have a good time together. And I do those things not necessarily just to train them at the two events or to feed them at the barbecue, but to get those people to connect, to build relationships, to support each other and encourage each other so that they can learn from each other as much as they're learning from me as their pastor. So as you're as a small group facilitator or lead a, a support group or teach a Sunday school class, I encourage you to try to learn from other people doing the same things. And I'd love to hear from you down there in the comments. What have you learned from other small group facilitators in the past? I'd love to hear from you in the comments there. My name is Christopher Scott. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, you can get updates on future videos up there. I also got a bunch of other small group facilitator tips. I think 40 different videos in a playlist up there. If you want to learn to facilitate a small group, I got some a video over there about how to use Use the Wearsby guides for a verse by verse study. And then I got some brief five minute introductions to books of the Bible over there. Those are some of my most popular videos. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you again soon in another video.